Alright guys, and welcome back to episode 3 of Full Throttle. As we've just seen Mo attempt to get assassinated by Mark Hamill, I mean uh, Rick Berger. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Pile of rubble. Hmm. Nothing to click on. A couple old TVs. A bunch of old toasters. I didn't even notice those before. Yeah, I guess she's uh took off on us. Well, not on us, really. She was almost assassinated, so. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Backs open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Did she? I don't remember her saying Looks like someone that. searched this. Nothing. Looks like someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Put your lips I'm not on putting it. my lips on that. <laughs> this place is messed up enough. <laughs> Alright, well, let us get to our bike then and see if we can go find her. Actually, what we should do is go check on the pole cats. Let them know about this whole ambush that we just rushed away from. I don't think we told anybody about it. Back on bike. I think, what did he say? If you if you try and walk, he's like, I don't walk. I don't walk. <laughs> Except for when you do. Let's go. I think they recorded like a uh, legitimate like lion roar for part of the dance thing. Oh. oh! So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Uh huh. Idiot. You should have been like, hey, polecats, roll out. They're gonna blame this on us. Nope. All right, let us head the only other way we can. I wonder what Todd says if you talk to him. Ah, well. <laughs> if you want to know, feel free to download the game off the PlayStation Network or on Steam. It's pretty cheap. I think it's only like 10 or 15 bucks. Beautiful aesthetic. Oh, this is back at the kickstand, huh? Sucker's mine. All right, let's take it. Look, I really need a ride. <laughs> Do you think that? Uh... <laughs> Look, I really need a ride. <laughs> Do you really Look, think? I really need a ride. Talking to the truck is going to be the solution. I I don't know. <laughs> My instincts tell me it's not. Hey, killer! What? Hey, it's cool. Your mm. secret's safe with me. What mm. secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Hmm. Doesn't want to be involved, but uh, he's okay with being involved a little bit. <laughs> Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't <laughs> want to get involved. 
Nothing to grab. It's empty. Ah, booze. Can't. Got a ride. <laughs> Good thing that's a badger. Why? Because if that were a dead pole cat, I'd have to trash the place. <laughs> dead pole cat. Its little feet are nailed to the piano. There's a joke here about stuffing, but I sure don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. It was taken in art class. <laughs> That's one big fish. Yep. Take this. Got no home to hang it in. Got no home, uh... Members of the Polecat Gang are in custody, but their leader remains at large. Authorities have issued an all-points bulletin. They got the Polecats. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Get. Yeah. High kicking was never my move. <laughs> what we got here? Alright. He's got a knife. <clears throat> I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. I think there's an achievement if you can get this guy to let you play five figure fillet. I don't know how to though. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention Nixon scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> <laughs> That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Look, <clears throat> I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. I don't think it... Let me show you how to do that. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Yeah, I gotta do something else to get him to let me, uh, Good play. talking to you. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Only if it'll shut you up. Hmm. <laughs> Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quahog. Pick it up. I need to get to this place. Uncle beats me, Grinch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. Well, uh, I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. Sheesh. <laughs> Yeah, right. 
<laughs> I want to get this guy's knife somehow. Play some five finger fillet. I want to know. He doesn't look happy. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Hmm. Good talk. Let me see. There must be a way to do it. Uh, well. We'll figure it out. No, 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 no. Okay, so, <clears throat> you may have noticed that, uh, there's a little arrow back here. <laughs> a little subtle, but... There. Actually, wait a minute. Is there anything on the bike? No, 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 no. <laughs> hey! Ben! 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 Obi Wan? Ben! No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me! Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. <laughs> My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Must be Moe. Take that. Quit it! <laughs> I've touched it enough. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> you know, it stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. <laughs> They're empty. <clears throat> Excellent dialogue, as uh, as always. <laughs> it's like, where'd you get the forks? Right next to the knives and spoons. <laughs> All right, let us see. Here's Mo's picture of her and her uncle. Pete. I know, I know. Pretty mediocre fake ID. Hope no one mediocre. notices the correction fluid under the name. Hmm. I wonder if I can get him to let me play if I talk to him. Let me show you how to do that. Not going Come ahead. Come on. Good talking. That wouldn't be too useful. All right. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. <laughs> Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, guess I missed that trophy. I'll come back at some point, figure it out. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the bed. Jump, check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> It's 
stop moving. Problem with your truck? Uh, <laughs> loose holes, uh, nothing big. Uh, I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. <laughs> uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Won't work without a fuel line. Uh huh. Uncle Pete's meek ranch. This music here is also the same as my uh, background music on the PS4. <laughs> Corley Motors. Tough looking padlock. I don't have anything. Lots of bikes. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. <laughs> hmm. Old vulture thing there, huh? Aha! Hmm. That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Hmm. That's the insignia of the vultures. Tough looking padlock. Nothing tire iron can't handle. Ah, uh, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? <laughs> Do like quick Mickey Mouse repair. There we go. <laughs> Just slap that right in. Hey, Mo. She took my booster fuel. <laughs> Why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. Fuck. That does it. He's dead. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. Cavefish. Cavefish. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be okay. This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. Hmm. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. 
<laughs> so we've seen <clears throat> street justice. <laughs> yeah, fucking trucker. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take a little. Alright, we got some fertilizer. This awesome. stuff reeks. <laughs> Why was that guy transplanting for fertilizer anyway? Fuck knows, but I'm uh, sorry. Who knows, but looks like Emmett dropped a load here. <laughs> oh, very clever. Oh man. <laughs> so we can go back that way. I think you have like a semi-open world-ish type deal here. Yeah, you can control the bike here, actually. The mine road. Get on those. Yeah, you get to actually drive it. So let's head back to that mink ranch and see what's going on. Son of a gun. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but pretty good voice acting. So I think what we can do is uh, lose him here in the mine room. Ah, cavefish. Yeah, they won't follow you too far here. Ah. Uh. Uh. There we go. Hang in. <laughs> the adventure game controls. Oh, actually, the old school stuff doesn't look too bad. It's pretty good. Father Torque. Father Torque. <laughs> I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Father Tort, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? <laughs> Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? Nobody, but those rod wheelers are uglier. They're none too bright, either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. Huh. What's up with those cavefish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killings. How do the cavefish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. Trippy, huh? You know any way around Boyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, <laughs> sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cavefish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible, unless you got those weird cavefish specks. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, huh. take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Father Torque. <laughs> Hooking us up with the knowledge. I'm not sure which direction this is taking us. The old mine road. Is this 
uh, yeah, we're, we're heading the other way. So let's go that way towards the bridge. <laughs> I like how the music picks right back up off where you were. It's kind of cool that you can control your uh, character like this. I like all the pipes and stuff. He's got like shooting out at random angles from the bike. <laughs> just got one here, one there. Like four on one side, just pop, 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 pop. <laughs> and come to the bridge. And as we suspected, it is blown up. <laughs> But we can come out here, take a look at her. X Bridge. <laughs> no need for lips. <laughs> I'm not putting my lips on that. You walk all the way over there just to say that, Jesus. Something tells me the bridge is out. Yeah, no kidding, huh? <laughs> uh, sign. Let's take a look at the sign. Oh, hold on. What's it say here? Wow. <laughs> hmm. No. Hmm. No. No. Nah. <laughs> You're not gonna grab the thing? Not gonna grab the gorge? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. Schmetterling. Notice, jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. We recommend the recently constructed Poyahoga Gorge Bridge for transgorge travel. Drive safely. <laughs> is that what this says too? Picture? This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. <laughs> hmm, what could have happened? One of the gorge's many casualties. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. And then this Tight black air. walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the flying torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. And that's the key to, count, to, to crossing, basically. Kind of like the forks and the gas situation earlier. It's just, uh, <clears throat> those are the items you need to get. So, once again, you need Not three items. Foot. So, the hover lift. Where could you get a hover lift from? Well, the answer might not be super obvious, but I'm, I'm sure you're thinking of it right now. I'm sure you're thinking of it. Comment, comment what you think it is. <laughs> I'm sure you know. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, it's kind of weird, like how the older one has got this sort of—I uh, don't know if I'm gonna call it CGI. I'm not sure what I would call this in terms of uh, how it looks, the uh, background. I, I don't know. Stop. Oh, you can stop here. <laughs> right through the uh, mist. Let's see, what happens if we uh, go back to that thing and we don't duck off the mine road? If we go back to the mink ranch for uh, forest and then we're at... I like they got the hair going. Yeah, they kind of got the hair moving in this one. You know when they don't? <laughs> Look at him run. Look at him run. And 
this is it. This is an area where uh, I might be a little bit stuck. I can go on the mine road a couple ways. <laughs> Jack 10! The weak point. I wonder what happens here. Are they still following you or uh I don't know. Exit, exit. Oh, that's what that says. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I do still follow you. What happens if you go all the way back to the Mink Ranch? They're already following you, so there shouldn't be anybody there to stop you. I'm kind of curious. Let's see. <laughs> you want to ride with me? Take the ride check it out. Somehow they were able to really capture the uh, aesthetic of uh, being out and uh, I don't know, it's kind of like Mad Max in a way. They were just able to capture that really well. Okay, fish. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens here. Maybe nothing. Why would, why does he stop? Oh, okay, all right. Nothing back that way except for the police, probably anyway. So, okay, just curious. Maybe we can lose him here on the old mine road, and lose him we shall. Okay, fish. So, all right, fellas. Well, uh, <laughs> that's a little intro past kickstand and whatnot. So, hopefully, you enjoyed that and. We will see you next time. So see you on the next episode, guys. See ya.